Welcome back to Going Walkabout, episode 16. The secret places in Palm Springs that locals use for brew, bread, brunch, and booze. This desert oasis of 96 square miles was incorporated into the city of Palm Springs in 1942. Going from a sleepy desert trading post to a bustling venue for the rich and famous, it doesn't take a genius to predict the growth of Palm Springs into one of America's top tourist destinations for today. But where do the locals go? After living here for nine years, I have a short list of six secret places. Let's start with number six. You'll want to stay to the end to see our top secret place. Hop in our car. Let's take a ride. Coming in at number six, the sandwich spot. Okay, we're gonna kill two birds with one stone. We've got our brew and we've got our sandwich spot, all in the same arcade, which is the Henry Frank Arcade. It's just off Palm Canyon. We're gonna see Bongo Johnny's over there. So let's go Caddy Corner, see Bongo Johnny's across the street and you'll see the Henry Frank Arcade. The Sandwich Spot, locally owned with cheekily named sandwiches like The Thigh Master, Dirty Weekend, and Sunny and Cher. You can't go wrong with these savory bites and that fresh baked bread. Coming in at number five, Brie Coffee House, Art Gallery, and Record Store. A short walk down Henry Frank Arcade, open from 93 most days, Gree offers the local alternative to the big box coffee companies like Starbucks. Locals can chat over a frothy brew, peruse the art, and listen to the vinyl. At number four, we have Towny Bagels. Carrying on down Palm Canyon, you're going to make a left on Sunny Dunes, and that's going to take you to one of our best bread places, which is literally the best bagels outside of Manhattan, and that's Towny the best bagels in all of Palm Springs. Right here on the left-hand side, you'll see Townie. The Townie folks will welcome you with open arms daily from 6.30 to 12. And don't forget to try the sandwiches. At number three, we have a Cena Lounge and Grill. So one of the best kept secrets that we have found for brunch is a place called the Asina Golf Course, and they actually have the Asina Bar and Grill, and and you're going to be turning here at Clubhouse View. You're going to turn off Vista Chino onto Clubhouse View, and you can see the Asina sign over here. And we go around this little roundabout, and it's uh, heading to the golf course. But at the golf course, there is a fantastic grill and lounge. So uh, more to come here. Should we go down what seems to be a private road and then you'll see a sign and you'll turn right into where the golf course is, but it's also where the Asina Grill and Lounge is. And there we go. And we'll have a look uh, around the grill here shortly. But as you can see, beautiful mid-century modern the reason that this is a, a great secret is because so many people have brunch in downtown Palm Springs and they forget that just a little bit outside the town, there's these beautiful places that have gorgeous views. So as you can see, the views are absolutely stupendous and you won't get a view like this from anywhere else in Palm Springs that is just this completely expansive and gorgeous. And then you've got this beautiful eating area. Now there is indoor eating as well. Um, and there's also a bar. And, uh, and if you're up for golf, there's a good golf course here as well. So highly recommended. One of the best kept secrets I think in Palm Springs is the Asina Bar and Grill or brunch. Can't make brunch? Not to worry. They're also open in the evening, which proves to be every bit as lovely watching the sunset behind the San Jacinto Mountains. At number two, we have Peninsula Pastries. Carrying on down Palm Canyon Drive, we're going to be going to another one of our secret places for the best bread and croissants and baguettes that you could possibly get pretty much anywhere, almost better or as good as France. And that's
that's at a little bakery just around the corner here in this strip mall that we're just going into. Right at Camino Poricella. And um, you're going to go to the back of this strip mall and you'll see a little place called Peninsula Pastry. And it is as close to what you would get in France as any place I've ever seen in the world. I will tell you that you want to get here early because they sell out of the baguettes and you won't want to miss those. Closed Monday through Wednesday, open 8.30 to 5 the rest of the week, using only imported French flour for their creations. And as I said, you'll want to get there early so you don't miss out on the fluffy croissants. Coming in at number one, Paul's Bar Food. Okay, also off Vista Chino is another one of our secret places. And this is where you can get the best booze and it's gonna look really ropey. Um, and that's why we had to show you the outside. So just off Gene Autry and Vista Chino, you'll see the strip mall that looks um, like half the shops are out of business, which they are. And then you'll see this place called Bar Food. And Bar Food opened up probably about eight years ago or so. And we all thought, what the heck? And it just got a huge following. Well, it's actually a speakeasy. So when you go into it, it is amazing that it looks like the most amazing San Francisco bar or pub. And the food is delicious and it's very inexpensive, but great booze, great place to go. Bar food just off Vista Chino and Gene Autry and near all of these completely defunct looking buildings. Open from four to 10 most days with cocktails till midnight on Friday and Saturday. This modern day speakeasy serves up a wonderful menu of both food and drinks. The space is limited and they don't take reservations. So show up early and enjoy. Thank you for joining us on our ride today. Please make comments below about your favorite place. If you are enjoying our videos, please like or subscribe. We'll see you again in two weeks.